Hi, this is San Diego City Council member Carl DeMaio, and this is my latest edition of my video blog for the San Diego News Network. The first question comes from John in Scripps Ranch. He asks, is San Diego better prepared in 2009 as the fire season approaches? Well, as many viewers may know, my district, District 5, has been hit by fires not once but twice, the 2003 fires that devastated Scripps Ranch and the 2007 fires that devastated Rancho Bernardo. And preparedness has to be at the top of our list, improving uh, individual preparedness as well as uh, citywide preparedness. We have taken important steps in the past several years to improve wildfire preparedness. The city is making progress on clearing brush on the lands that it owns. The city has also added new equipment, such as another fire helicopter and new apparatus. But more can and should be done to improve the city's responsive nature for wildland fires, including improved training and memoranda of understanding with local uh, enforcement agencies and response agencies. I think another element that we have to always remember is that individual preparedness has to be uh, improved. That's why in my council district I'm sponsoring three ready or not survival forums for my residents. And we've gone door to door knocking on people's doors to give them information on how they can prepare their home and their families for any disaster, particularly wildland fires. So the efforts continue. You never can be as prepared as, as uh, you should be, um, but uh, uh, these efforts, I believe, will help safeguard our residents in San Diego. This next question comes from a resident of Del Cerro. I recently read that the city still hasn't implemented Proposition C, the managed competition reform that allows for outsourcing of city services, even though it was overwhelmingly approved by voters in 2006. Can you explain the, the holdup? Well, that's a good question. Voters did overwhelmingly approve Proposition C, and the city faces its greatest financial crisis in its history, and yet city politicians have sat on a reform, managed competition, that could save millions of taxpayer dollars annually and improve the quality of services to our neighborhoods. Why? Well, the power of the unions. The labor unions are extremely influential at City Hall, and many city politicians are doing their best to thwart the will of the people by sitting on the reform. I think it's uh, long overdue. I think the city council needs to implement managed competition so that we can look at whether we can improve the quality and the efficiency of city services using the forces of competition. Think about it from this perspective, uh, from a family budget or a small business budget. You would never provide a, a service or buy a service without getting a couple quotes from different vendors. The power of competition will drive prices down, not only in the family budget, not only in small businesses, but yes, in city government. And that's why we need to implement managed competition at City Hall. If you have any questions that you'd like me to answer in an upcoming video blog, please email me at interviewcarl at sdnn.com. Interviewcarl at sdnn.com. And I'd be happy to answer your question in one of those upcoming blogs.